You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nery here from Drake Wing Gaming. Subscribe to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you in the Let's Play episode of Nico Gishi. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. I just woke up, got my coffee with me, so I'm gonna wake up as we do this. But guys, please sit back and enjoy it for the next 18 minutes while I entertain you. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Hope you all are having a very wonderful morning. Alright. I mean, it's hard to deny some of the stuff they've been saying. After all, Senpai, well, shush. Shushi, possessed by a leopard cat, has been living with me since last night. Embarrassed, I tried to avoid Jiao, Jiao's gaze and noticed leopard skulking around. Right, there's something I could ask Jiao. Jiao, you're a Rukai, right? Seeing leopard reminded me that Jiao helped us a lot with information on the Rukai traditions for the show last night. Maybe he knows something. Yeah, I, I am. What's up? Oh, which tribe? Eh? Tribe? It's, well, where's your hometown? Wutai, is that what you want? Yeah, oh, what a coincidence. Oh, coincidence? Nah, it's nothing really. I can't exactly tell where tell him I can't exactly tell him there's a clouded leper from Wutai who wants my help, but I really want to ask him something about it. How should I do this? It's all right. Uh, it's just that, well, are you familiar with Rukai, Rukai tra traditions? Rukai traditions. I know a bit. Anything you want to know? Do you know of any Rukai gods who are clouded lepers? Le leopard clouded lepers. Wow, clouded leopards. Well, I'm afraid it's not my specialty. Hmm, clouded leopards. Honestly, I have no idea. None at all. I don't know, or at least I can't come up with anything off the top of my head. Like I said, I don't know much about this stuff. But I have an aunt who teaches this stuff. I can ask her for help. Really? Please ask her for me. I owe you one. You're welcome. It's no skin off my nose. Afterwards, I say goodbye to Ji Hao and he heads off. Somewhat relieved that's over. I'm kind of worried that Leopard overheard that what we were talking about. Luckily, he's too busy watching some of the guys practicing to take notice, or for that matter, see how embarrassed I was. It's kind of strange, though. Xiao probably would at least know all the big Rukai gods. Could there really be no clouded leopard gods in, Rukai in the Rukai? I mean, even with his modest knowledge of his ancestors' traditions, he's usually on top of his stuff. I start to wonder if I should ask Leopard about it when I'm interrupted by Senpai coming back over. Meow, yeah, sorry for keeping you waiting. Huh. What's wrong? You seem down. I'm fine, it's just... Well, honestly, some guys are making fun of me. It just put me off a bit. Making fun of the owl? What about? It's about you. They're starting to catch on that I'm suddenly spending more time with you. There's been a bunch of gossip about it. Oh, it's fine. Leave them be. You're not the one being, you're not the one being harassed. What does it matter? Are they going to hurt you? You never know. Heaps of those guys aren't in, are into you and you know it. I might get murdered one day. Okay, now you're just being dramatic. Don't worry about it. Even if they come asking for trouble, I won't let anyone else touch you one single bit. Whatever, it's not like you'll always be around to stop them. Right, so I'll just have to stay with the owl all the time. The senpai, this whole time, that's been your real intention, right? Heh. <laughs> stop messing around with me. Come on, it's not like we can make the rumors disappear by themselves. And it's not like I'm gonna let some gossip get between us. You know how much your help means to me. So, just don't give a crap about the rumors. I'll be here to protect you, Leal, no matter what happens. So don't worry about it, okay? I don't think your words are very credible, Senpai. Heh. <laughs> I lie like Senpai. I thought you'd, I thought you'd at least deny that! <laughs> I don't really care. Like I said, I'll protect, I'll protect you, Leal, regardless if you trust me or not. Besides, you not trusting me just means I'm being too cute for you to handle. <laughs> no, it's not like that! She, <laughs> Senpai! Okay, I'll go easy on you for now. Actually, I was about to go home and grab my stuff. There's something else, there's nothing else scheduled for the club today, so you can go home early, too. Oh, yeah, sounds good. There's no way I'm staying around with all the heat on me today. Issue is leaving with Senpai. As issue is leaving with Senpai is just going to throw fuel on the fire. What to do? I'm going home, Liao. See you later! He says, it, he says it loud enough to get people's attention. Damn it, he did that on purpose! I better get out of here before people start asking questions. I pull my guardian tiger and pull the daydreaming clouded leopard aside to get my butt out of there as fast as possible. Quickly like making my way home. Oh, that's cute! Phew! I'm exhausted. I chuck my backpack on the ground. Just about ready to throw myself onto my bed, but I can't take a break just yet. 
it's a pain, but no matter how tired I am, I just can't go to bed without having a real having a shower. I wrestle my body away from its soft retreat and head to the bathroom, getting into the shower. After the shower, I get dressed and start to tidy up my room. When I hear a knock on the door, it's probably Senpai. Meow, I'm home. I open the door to find Senpai lugging a full-on travel suitcase down the corridor. Where is he even going to put it? Where is he even going to put this much stuff? Senpai, that bag's huge. Where are you even going to put it? So just let it be my personal closet. It's a perfect fit for the, for the front for the front corner of your room. You just have to move your folding table out of the way. You really planned this out, didn't you? It's all because I like you, Liao. What kind of response is that? I'm giving up on trying to reason with this guy. Senpai then invites himself into my room, humming a cheery tune while he begins making himself at home. What is this noise? Is this a shower? Before I know it, he's finished setting up his stuff and it's off to the bathroom. Huh, I'm so tired. I collapse onto my bed, complaining to no one but myself. Liel, I'm not sure if, you, if I'm worrying too much, but I believe you. Sh I believe you should watch out for that kitten. Hmm? What's wrong? Simply put, I don't trust him. I have no reason to trust some so-called guardian tiger who used to be a yaguai. Yaguai. So he's a yaguai. Who became a guardian tiger? Correct. Although I've never heard about any leopard cat guardian tigers. Even if he was genuine, he would have once been a leopard cat Yaogwai who would have been subdued and taken in by a local god of soil. By an ex Yaogwai, but an ex Yaogwai is still a Yaogwai. Keep that in mind. Hmm. I mean, I can't say his actions haven't been weird, but I'm still not sure how I feel about him possessing Shushi Senpai. I mean, he's Shushi for now, but what happens to the real sh for the real Yan Shushi? On top of that, people are starting to think they're in a we're in a relationship. I feel bad for Yan. Sh for Yanshu Shi, this will be his problem too once it's all over. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Honestly, I just need to sleep after all the drama today. I don't really care about who's sleeping with me. I avoid To avoid the fight, I just pull up my quilt and close my eyes. Senpai will probably turn off the light anyway. I close my eyes and I think. Everything that's happened today, everything I could... Every, blah, everything that's happened, everything I could do, and the things I didn't do, they all weigh upon my mind as I fall asleep. God, that is such a cute little animation! When I wake up the next day, I feel the same soft warmth next to me. The same big cat is in my bed, sleeping away next to me. I'm glad I didn't make a drama over it last night. Sadly, I can't sleep forever. It's about time for me to leave. So I get up out of bed and get ready to go to class. Leo, wait a minute. You should wear more. It's chilly outside today. What? Nah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine with what I had on yesterday. You won't be fine. You only went out past noon yesterday. It's hardly the same. Well, I'll be fine later on. Even Senpai's wearing even less than me. Yeah, Liao's right. We're young. We can handle the cold. Huh. Who cares about that kitten? Even the power of a guardian tiger won't stop his body from catching a cold. Although you are different, being under the protection of my blessings. I'm not a kitten! So if, so if you're with me, I'll be fine. As much as my blessings can prevent you from catching a cold, I can't help you recover from one. Liao, you're a good kid, but a few more garments won't hurt. Jeez, you don't have to treat me like a kid. Fine, I'll put something on. I can't argue with him, so I end up picking a, picking. So I end up putting a thick, fluffy coat on the over the top of what I was going to wear. I don't think I need it, but at least the fur on the inside does keep me warm. I can already tell I'll be hot after walking in it for a while. Okay, I'm heading out now. I grab my backpack and open the door. As you could guess, all three of the big cats follow suit. Once I make it to class, I sit down and things, getting, and things get started. At least Tiger and Leopard haven't gotten to any fights so far today. Even my harsh words yesterday got through to them. Tiger sits back in the corner of the lecture hall, clearly disgruntled by the situation. Yep, he may not be happy about it, but at least he's not about to start a fight. Leopard sits next to me, focusing completely on the lecture, compared to Senpai tapping away on his phone. He's an honor student. But I doubt he would understand a word the teacher's saying. Why is he trying so hard? Hmm, maybe he's trying to use this time to learn some Mandarin? Which is probably not a good idea. This is a co this is college-level stuff, after all. It's way too advanced. Hope he's not picking up anything weird from this. Disregarding Senpai's protest to go to a restaurant, we head to a cafeteria during lunch. After all, I promised Tiger that he'd... Tiger that I get him a hamburger last night. <sighs> like I said, guys, I'm still waking up. One second, let me drink a sip some coffee. Mm. Mm. Oh, delicious, sweet liquid. 
Some of the super nice, some of the super nice restaurants around here have the best burgers, though. That'd be way too expensive. I'm a poor student here, you know. But eating at the cafeteria isn't romantic at all. I don't want anything romantic. What kind of person dines at fancy restaurants every day anyway? I mean, you know, it doesn't mean need to be fancy. I just want to go spend time with you somewhere nice. At least just once. You could have a date with me. No! What? Liao, you're such a big bully! How am I even bullying you? Ignoring Senpai's complaints, I go and buy two hamburgers. He stares at a hamburger. So this is a hamburger. Am I seeing things? Are their eyes sparkling with desire? Tiger, Tiger pricks up the burger with his giant paws, the palms of which look like, the palms of which almost cover the whole thing. Then, in a single movement, he finishes the whole thing in one bite. Hmm, not bad. The bread adds a lovely crispy mouthfeel. It works well regardless of how little meat is in it. And proceeds to lick his claws. It's a little scary. I look back at the table just to find the whole burger still sitting there. Oh, the hamburger's still there. Didn't I tell you this yesterday? A god only consumes the chi within an offering. They don't eat the actual food, so this was this one is for you, Lao. So what he ate was the chi from the burger? The chi form of the burger? A chi form of the burger. That's really strange. The burger has an energy. <laughs> I guess it makes no difference to me. Even with Senpai's explanation, it's still kind of hard to believe that burger just got split in two. That was only one burger, though. Is that even enough for you, Tiger? Even though I'm worrying about him, there's no way there's no way I could finish a third burger. The other one's for Leopard anyway. No need to worry, I just wanted to experience the taste. I'm not hungry at all, even if I were. And even if I were, you wouldn't be able to eat anymore. Would you now? Yeah, I guess you're right. Although, if you really wanted to give me another one, I would gladly have that one... Have the one that Aborigine has. Just as he says that the Leopard grabs his burger in a hurry, ready to eat it at a moment's notice. Leopard sneers at Tiger, who returns with a contemptuous stare of his own. It seems like a fight could break out at any moment. Oh dear. You boys better behave! That's enough! I'll get you guys hamburgers tomorrow if you want them so much! And at them in an effort to avoid a fight. It seems to go over well enough, but in the end, it, is it really the hamburgers they want or that? They want or what? Ah, they got a rivalry going. After class, I show up with Senpai at Dance Club. As you can guess, us coming together caused an uproar. I can bob in my head to this music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> After okay. At this point, everyone's heard the rumors of me and Senpai being in love. Before, com before coming, I told Senpai to deny it and to keep his distance, for both our sakes. It took a bit of work, though. He didn't agree until I threatened to kick him out, but thank God he did, though. I can finally talk to the other guys now. Even after all that, I'm still being asked about my relationship with Senpai. So, aren't you and Shushi Senpai in love or something? He's totally just trying to mess with me. Yeah, but for Shushi to publicly admit his love for someone, first time I've seen that. It just doesn't feel like a joke, you know? Like, it's not something you should be embarrassed about. The only thing that's true is that we're not a thing. I don't have to deny it any more than that, right? Hey, I still don't buy it. Why else would you two be so close together then? Ugh, I told you, it's all Senpai who... I can't focus on practice while being questioned like this, so I decided to take a break, taking a seat in the corner of the veranda room. Leal, yeah, would you like me to go knock some sense into that kitten for you? No thanks, it doesn't matter that much, even if he's being annoying. That, and I don't want to see them fight each other. I don't even want to think about what would happen if they got into a fight here. I tried. To, I just tried to stop thinking about it, looking towards Leopard to distract myself. He seems to be really into watching the other guy's exit practice. He's moving his hands and fingers, imitating their movements. I figured he'd paid attention in class to learn Mandarin, but why would he want to learn how to dance? I end up just sitting in the corner watching Leopard and the other guys dance until the end of practice. When the club leader announces that we're free to go, we all grab our stuff and head off. But suddenly Senpai comes up to me. Hey Liao, let's go home together. Senpai, I told you not to talk to me during practice. Hey, that doesn't count now that it's over, right? You know how suspicious it looks if we're together like this? If we're really together, we can be as suspicious as we want. <laughs> <laughs> Giant towering figure edges closer. <laughs> the tiger sends a fire, a fierce glare at Senpai's way. <laughs> J just kidding. Well, I might as well go with you, Liao. It's simply just too much of a burn to open the door just for me, you know? Actually, no, I don't know. It's simply just too easy for me to open the door for you. Uh, it's okay to go home together. Senpai. As much as I want to refuse him, I also don't feel right letting his hopes down all the time. Eventually, I give in, letting Senpai come home with me. <laughs> I 
Finally, thanks to the help of the three big cats, I make it through a chaotic week. Even with all the drama they cause at the beginning, it's calmed down after a few days. For now, little by little, I'm getting used to living with the three big cat spirits. Even so, all I want to do is take a good nice break this weekend. Alas, my serenity doesn't last long. Liao, will you go shopping with me? Liao, it's a good opportunity to go out this weekend. Perhaps a good, perhaps a good books or appliance store. I I'm interested in them. Would you care to show me? Keep me company. Even just after waking up, these three are already on me. The hell want me to spend time with them too? Wait, what does Leopard want anyway? He doesn't even sound like he knows what he wants to do. Even then, I kind of get the feeling he, re he really wants to spend time with me too. On the other hand, I can't really refuse the other two. Even though I'd prefer to stay at home and get some rest, it's not really like I have any other plans for today otherwise. So what should I do? We'll go out hanging out with Tiger. You boys will get your attention the next runs. Well, if I have to choose, I think Tiger really wants to go somewhere. Aw, fine. I'll let you have some time with him today. But Liel has to go out with me tomorrow. Keep me company. Senpai clenches his fists and Leopard sends me a piercing glare. Why does this stuff always end up being so complicated? Oh, just ignore these low lives, or should I say lost kittens? Who the hell's a lost kitten? I don't see any kittens here! Anyway, Tiger, what kind of appliance store were you, were you thinking about? Some store with plenty of devices. Amazing things like laptops or smartphones. They're such intricate devices. Your computer used to amaze me, but once I got a close look at your phone, I could not begin to imagine the possibilities. It's such a convenient, wonderful device. You're totally old school! I am a god. These things are new to me. Well, going to an appliance store wouldn't make much sense. You wouldn't even find a laptop there. Then where would we find some? I'll tell you along the way. We should get going. <coughs> the department store is pretty far away and from my from my apartment, so I catch a bus there with Tiger. There's a supermarket, a bookstore, several 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 special several specially Specially good? Several specialty goods stores and a food court here. We should definitely go to the food court to get something good later. What's this? Is this an appliance store? We just walked in the front door of the center itself. Clothes and expensive bags cover the shelves around us. There are clearly no appliances in sight. Not exactly. This is a department store. There are places here which sell appliances, smartphones, laptops, and heaps of electronics. It's a handy place with everything you could need. Department store? Well, I've heard of them before, so this is what one of them is? So this is what one of them is like. I mean, they don't all look the same. Anyway, let's go to the supermarket. As we head into the supermarket, we see lots of good produce on sale. Tiger wanders around, intrigued. These ones are quite similar to the sacrifices I received. It's quite the display. He points towards a pile of bulk goods. But the presentation is lacking. Piling them up like this cheapens them. That's just because they're bulk packs. It doesn't make them cheap. It's not that I'm questioning the generosity of my worshippers. It's just stood out to me. Tiger tilts his head in, in, in thought as we walk further from through the department store. When we get around to the electronics section, he's clearly engrossed by the devices laid out before him. Oh, are these all laptops? He begins to inspect all the different laptops and tablets. You can even see some of those newish convertible convertible devices on display. All right, guys, I'm going to pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!